The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents against an imposing adversary. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United Kingdom Championship. English gentleman, an incredibly unique scientific wrestling style, but a dangerous, dangerous man. And Jack Gallagher known for taking his time when it comes to breaking down and debilitating his opponents. Very dangerous, dangerous man. Could have a long, successful career here in WWE. Introducing the challenger from Manchester, England, weighing in at 1,000 pounds, gentlemen, Jack. Introducing the champion from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the WWE United Kingdom Champion, Pete Dunne. Stay right where you are, people. You can bet that Pete Dunne is going to look to utilize his classic English mastery of submission holds and attacking an opponent's limbs. Dunne is also notorious for pushing the limits of WWE's rulebook. This might be it. Oh, my. Beautiful technique. Elbow drop with authority. Elbow drop. Big time. Harsh impact. Ooh. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, torturous knee. What impact. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. The champ starting to feel the pressure a bit. Ah. I don't care who you are, that'll knock you out. I'm not sure how much he has left. Elbow finds its mark. What a stomp. Good grief. Looks as though the champ has run out of gas. He may not even know where he's at at this point, which is not a good look when your championship is on the line. He is hurt. If by some miracle he goes on to win this match, Wham! I don't care who you are, that'll knock you out. Don't be surprised if you crown a new champ here. Oh boy, he is rolling. What a drop kick right to the back. Sharp knee. Good golly, what a knee. Elbow drop. Piercing. Effectively using the knee. Kick. Vicious strike. Oh boy, he is rolling. We have seen it. Wham! I don't care who you are, that'll knock you out. Oh man, the champ looks absolutely out of it right now. Oh man, Dunn is in trouble now. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, you can pick up him deep in section 112. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, 
Watch out! I'm gonna destroy your face. He's in trouble. Straight right to the mouth. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Straight right to the mouth. Here's his moment, Michael. Okay, this time has to do it. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Forearm to the oh, face! Oh, nothing fancy about that. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. Back in from the floor. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. New champion, new champion. And a kick out, not even close on that. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Ooh, what impact. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky-tonk man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course, though. It wasn't so great for the honky-tonk man who ended up losing his championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. Oh, nasty impact. Boom! <laughs> oh, my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted... Here's the pin title on the line! And Gallagher quickly kicks out. Too soon. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, nasty impact. you got to believe this one's a wham! I don't care who you are, that'll knock you out. The challenger simply will not be denied. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the mask. This is it. DDT. Planet. But he's got to capitalize now. Oh, man. Dunn is in trouble now. We've seen plenty of fireworks thus far tonight on this Independence Day edition of WWE programming. Nailed it. That should do it. He might have it. He wants no part of the outside. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. I don't remember the last time the champion was up against as stiff a challenge as this one. Irish whip! Beautiful technique. Nobody controls the pace of a match. He goes for the cover. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. And one more. Wham! I don't care who you are. That'll knock you out. We might be looking at a new champ here. 
Remind me, how many times have we seen that tonight? I lost track. Here, gentlemen's drop kick, and not a hair out of place. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Jack Gallagher just etched his name in the history books tonight. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectation, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. You are not going to see many matches as good as that one. These superstars Here's rose to the occasion and, and gave us more WWE than we ever dreamed of. United Kingdom Champion, gentlemen, Jack Gallagher. Put it in the books, and there was no question about that one. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed those fireworks. Another great match.